you. Um, who killed Casey Shane? A 25-year-old man was shot five times in Indianapolis while sitting in his truck 24 years ago. His case getting new attention now, as the man first convicted was set free. Casey's family wants to know, will anyone be held accountable? Leon Benson spent almost 25 years in prison at Pendleton, convicted of Casey's murder, but last week he was exonerated from murder. His case overturned, police had the wrong man. Leon Benson is here live with us this morning to talk about his story, his case. Leon, thank you so much for being with us this morning. I wanna start with, you. you know, it's been less than two weeks that you walked out of that Pendleton prison with a bag of clothes. How do you describe to people where you're at today and, and how you feel? Well, hey, thank you for having me, Angela. Uh, you know, hey, the feelings are, are very surreal. They're visceral. It's hard to really put it all in words, but I, I, I can tell you overall, I'm just ecstatic and I feel blessed. I feel so blessed to finally walk out, out of that place after 25 years. 10 years, I, I believe you were in solitary confinement. I know your team of attorneys included those from the Racial Justice Clinic at the University of San Francisco School of Law and the newly founded Marion County Conviction Integrity Unit. Can you tell our viewers a little bit about the evidence or what was it that finally after all these years was the key to actually getting you to be able to walk free? Uh, it was uh, the detective the head, the lead detective in the case, Alan Jones, he uh, he withheld crucial evidence, exculpatory evidence that that pointed to my innocence. It pointed to uh, the direction of another suspect, and it just corroborated with all the other evidence that that was available to the state and, and to the police department of my innocence. Leon, when we talked, um, we've talked a couple of times on the phone and I asked you, um, how do you stay grounded or where you're at today without being angry? And what is your message now and what is your hope as people learn more about your story and they hear what happened to you? Um, what do you want them to know? Well, when you go through something like 25 years of incarceration, 10 years in solitary, all the letdowns, the ups and the downs, uh, the stress, uh, you come in terms with a lot of things. So I'm living like I died before. And when I say that, I mean, I'm not taking nothing for granted. Nothing, nobody, my grandkids, hmm. my family, my legacy, my vision. And it's bigger than me too. It's bigger than Leon Benson. You have other individuals who are wrongfully incarcerated. Uh, one like Royal Amos, currently in Indiana, he's innocent and many others. So we got to look at the bigger issue of what's really going on with the, sim with the system, it's systemic. And we need to come together as a community and common unity. That common unity should be justice and humanity because we have to live here in America, in Indianapolis, in Detroit, in these neighborhoods and communities together. So we need to come together as a community and reduce and stop this injustice. Yeah, I know you obviously know deeply what it feels like to suffer. And Casey Shane's family, um, has they've reached out to me knowing that I was gonna talk to you today knowing that now there is a killer out there that was never held accountable for what happened to their son. I wondered if you, knowing what you went through and suffered, and now how I know you can feel for their family for not having anyone held accountable, what would you say to them or, or, or would you say anything to them? Definitely, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I understand that they were let down by the system or by our public servants that was supposed to serve and protect them. I, I apologize out of, out of empathy and sympathy for their suffering. And, you know, I hope justice can prevail for Casey Shone 
uh, he's a brother to me. I mm. sat for 25 years with the spirit of Casey mm. heavy on my conscience and my heart because I know that if I'm in prison suffering, mm. how is he suffering in the spiritual sense? So my heart definitely go out to the Sean family uh, and, and all victims of violent crimes and, and, and murders that's out there. My heart go out to all of you guys. Leon, I'm out of time right now. We didn't get to talk about what is next for you. Um, I know that um, you have music coming out and I know also right now you don't have, people wanna know if you have millions of dollars. You left with basically a bag of clothes so that's to come. We'll put people in touch with more on your story and how they can help. I wish we had more time to talk, but I just really appreciate you being with us and letting us know what happened to you. Hey, hey thank you. Thank you so much, Angela. Yeah, Leon, thank you. I also want to let you know that I reached out to the Marion County Prosecutor for comment on the status of any investigation or potential investigating into the murder of Casey, Casey Shane. I will let you know if and when I get any new information. Um, his, fo his family reached out to me and wanted to share this photo. Uh, Casey Shane killed all of those decades ago and still the person who killed him not held accountable. We'll have much more after the break.